Yo, what's going on guys, Y5K here, welcome to a new player review, today we are looking for the 89 rated team of the tournament for Mino, such a great center forward on FIFA 19, I think everyone know how good he is in game, and of course you can use him as a psyker or even a center attack mid, with his 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot and high attacking work rate, I think in game he can do a lot of damage. Now today we are looking for his 89 rated team of the tournament card, he has got fantastic stat for a center attack mid with 80 base. 89 dribbling, 88 shooting, 85 passing with 82 physical. Really good stat for a psyker or even a cam on FIFA 19. Now for his price, right now he is around 350k and we will see on the gameplay if he deserves 350k. Now let's see his in-game stat, he has got 81 acceleration with 80 sprint speed, 92 finishing, 85 shot power with 80 long shots and 85 volleys, good passing and dribbling stat for a psyker with 90 vision, 76 crossing, 91 short pass, 70 89 long bus with 85 curve, 82 agility, 83 balance, 89 reactions, 91 ball control with 90 composure, really good physical stats as well with 85 jumping, 94 stamina, 77 strength and 76 aggression, really good base, shooting, passing, dribbling and physical stats for a psyker. Now work rate of high high which is really good to have on a psyker because of the high attacking work rate, 4 star weak foot with 4 star skill moves which is good for a psyker, not bad at all. Anyway guys this is the squad that I'm going with to review the 89 rated team of the tournament for Mino. Now before going into the gameplay if you're not around here don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video that will be always appreciated. Tell me in the comment below which player should I review next from the team of the tournament. Now let's jump into the gameplay and let's see what the 89 I rated Roberto Formino can do. 89 rated team of the tournament Firmino, does he worth 350k? We will see on this gameplay. Now first of all I think everyone know who is Firmino and know that he's a really good player on FIFA 19. For me I really like him in game and I use him as a center attack mid. I think that's way better than a striker for him because he does not have enough pace to be a world class striker on FIFA 19. And of course he has got fantastic passing and dribbling stat for a center attack mid. Trust me, use him as a center attack mid 100%, he can do the job. So the question is, does he deserve 350k? However guys, now before going into the good and best of things, let's talk about the best game style to use with him. Now for me, with all the games I have played with him, I used Hawk game style, which increased his pace, shooting, and physical. As you can see here, this is his stats with the Hawk game style. 85 pace, 93 shooting, with 86 physical. Anyway guys, now moving on into the good and positive thing, starting off with the best thing with him which is gonna be his shooting. Yes, of course, as everyone expected, it's gonna be his shooting. He has got fantastic shooting in game. Trust me, inside the box, he won't miss. Now, he only got 80 long shots, but in game, he feels like he have at least 90 long shots. Fantastic long shots in game. Now, the best thing with his shooting is gonna be his finishing. He has got 92 finishing, and in game, he's a deadly finisher. Don't get me wrong, everything with his shooting is fantastic in game. However, guys, now moving on into another great thing with him, which is gonna be his dribbling. He is a great dribbling in game for real you won't believe how good his dribbling is in game I wasn't expecting his dribbling to be that good at all now he has got fantastic reactions with really good ball control as well and of course he has got four star skill moves which is a lovely thing to have on a center attack mid now if you want to use him as a center attack mid trust me his dribbling will be perfect for you now what about his physical does he has bad physical in game no actually his physical is really good for a soccer or even a center attack mid and to be honest, his jumping is really good for a player who is 5 foot 11. Now the best thing with his physical, I have to mention it, which is gonna be his stamina. He has got 94 stamina and his stamina feels so good in game. Now I'm not gonna lie, he has got some bad things with his physical like his strength. He only got 77 strength and his strength feels bad in game. Now the last good thing with him, I have to mention it, which is gonna be his work rate. High high work rate, which does mean if you wanna use him as a center attack mid, he will attack and he will help you on the defense as well anyway guys now moving on to the bad things that 89 rated team of the tournament for Mino has now if you want to use him as a striker his base will be a big problem for you because he only got 80 base and base is so important for a striker 
or if you want to use him as a center attack but trust me he is an amazing cam and you won't have any problem with him in the end i think he is a great center attack mid on fifa 19 and i really enjoyed playing with him but for me i don't think he deserves 350k i think he should be around 200 or 300k and that's it now for me i'm going to give him 9 out of 10 because of his shooting finishing dribbling agility ball control physical jumping and stamina Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and the gameplay. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and tell me on the comment below which player do you want to see next from the team of the tournament. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.